Hey guys, Erwan Yusuf here. I hope everyone's doing really well. We're continuing our series on Filipino food, Filipino recipes, and I'm with no other than Nancy Reyes Lumen. If you guys haven't checked out our previous videos, make sure you do. We made a really good adobo, and then we also made some really good longanisa and tapas. So do make sure to check those out before watching this. But today we're making another great recipe and we're making a sofrito. Okay, sofrito is also what you would call a basic flavor base. It can be considered as a uh, pangisa. So what is this in terms of making Filipino dishes? What is a sofrito usually used for the most? Do you know what they call the do dishes? No. Adobo, adobado, okay. rebosado. It belongs to the do dishes, which is actually based on this. Okay, so these are these are frozen. I bought them when uh, tomatoes were cheap. Okay, so chuete anato seeds. Yes. Right here, and I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. And wait for the oil to become saffron colored, and and try to use only a minimum heat. If you were using something white, you'd see that uh, this is already saffron colored. Yeah. I'm tearing up the tomatoes. Okay. Seeds and all. We're keeping everything there. We're keeping the juice, we're keeping the water that's coming out. Only or... because I want a saucy sofrito. But if you want it to be more oily and um, strong, yeah. then you take out the juice and you take out the, the seeds. So you can actually see it is it is very orange now mm -hmm. in this pan here. Yeah. Will we be needing all of this in the pan? Yes, you will. Okay. Um, in the sofrito way, we like to toast our seasonings, okay. our spices. I like I like spicy sofrito, even the laurel. And, oh. um, That's also just gonna give so much flavor to the yes. oil already. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. That's one thing that Filipinos would really have to get used to toasting their. Uh, dry spices, yeah. yes, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do our shallots. Yeah, this already looks so good. The favorite of Erwan? Yeah, I love shallots. The secret there is to really just cook it as long as you can. Yeah, we take right. that out. Okay. To start it off like this, really? Yeah, yeah, leave a little okay. oil. When you're cooking again another dish, you can already have the oil here. I just use this. Yeah. So that when you're making, you decide to make caldereta today and then a fritada the next day, all you have to do is just get one cup and then heat it up and then you're already three steps ahead. You're good to go, yeah. But normally I would put um, all half, uh, let's say for a kilo of uh, fresh tomatoes, I would have half a kilo of shallots and then one fourth kilo of garlic. Wow. I just want to take a bowl of rice and just toss it in there. <laughs> be so happy. Transfer it out. Back here. Okay. Okay, tomatoes so, go in. So, tomatoes. Now you can season it. So you just keep on boiling that until you see that the oil comes out. You can add tomato paste. Not sauce, not tomato sauce. I prefer using tomato paste because it's sweeter already. Definitely. Okay, once you know that it has already um, well, that flavor. developed and uh, has already oiled, then you can put everything back. So garlic goes in, onions okay. and the chilies, the bay leaf and the black pepper colors go in there. Don't try to put uh, white sugar. The best would be like a bit of panocha. Why? Because it already has a caramel taste. Yeah. So just a little. Yeah. So that will melt in with the heat. Melt it in. Yeah. And then now, once you have that, let the oils come out. And I would add more oil. Needs a little salt or patis. Now, now that's where the patis comes in. So this is the only seasoning we'll be putting in terms of sodium. If you if you like uh, to use rock salt, fine or you both. Can as well. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is good to go. After hours and hours of cooking it until the oils come out and the caramel of the onions and the garlic are rendered. And I can see how this would be perfect mm. for so many different dishes. You notice the sweetness? Yeah, the sweetness of the shallots came out. <clears throat> so that's good to go. You can bottle it, give it as a gift. So there you go, this is yeah. Nancy's sofrito. No, this is Erwan, Erwan's um, pangisa. So thank you very much, Nancy, for coming on. Hopefully thank we'll see also. more of her soon. If you guys want Nancy to teach us more things, and I know I do, please <laughs> comment you. in the section below. And as always, subscribe, watch more. We did some adobo, and we also did a beautiful tapa and lamanisa. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Make sure you catch all our other videos by clicking all around me and please make sure to subscribe. See you soon.